This one feels good. We're trying a, something a little bit different here. Oh, it's big, a nice big, fish. Big, 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 nice fish. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edit. So today, we're just launching right now onto the Fox River. It is me, Brandon, Cody. We're out here and uh, what are we doing? Uh, we're gonna go jig for some walleyes today. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do more than jigging. We're gonna absolutely destroy some walleyes. That's the goal, hopefully. We are gonna be trying to find a spot. There's not too many boats out here today. We were out here yesterday and there was about I don't even know. This is just the most boats I've ever seen actually out <laughs> on a single body of water. But we're gonna be uh, just kachowing some fish today and hopefully uh, one of us breaks our PV. I really don't think it's gonna be Cody because he has a 32 and a half inch walleye. But I'm sitting over here with the 28 and a quarter and Brandon's is what, a 26? 26 and a half. 26 and a half. So the, the possibilities are, are there. So I mean, we Very can do it possible. and hopefully we can get it done. So stay tuned guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Taking first cast of the day. Seeing if we can make some magic happen. Nice. Brand is hooked up. First one in the morning, she dogging. Some little head shakes. How long were we fishing for, Nick? First cast. First cast. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes maybe. It's a decent little wall, I think. Oh yeah, nice one. Both the size we were getting yesterday. Scoop them up. Boom. There we go, baby. The old Fox River Bend. I love it. <laughs> go ahead and set this down. First one in the morning. That's exactly how we wanted to start. Check that out, guys. There we go. First one of the day. Not an absolute giant, but hey. That is actually my biggest open water walleye of the year so far. Only went out one other outing. Caught that one on a green current cutter jig from Northland Tackle. As you can tell, green seems to be the hot color. So looks like this one got my minnow. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy unhooked if I can. There we go. As you can tell, the green one could him. So there she be, first one of the day. That's a beauty. We're gonna go ahead and Get a release on this one right away. There she goes, full of energy. Went back right away, take good care of them. We're gonna go ahead, get the jig back into the water because that's the first cast, that's the first one of the day and it's about to get real interesting. Woo! Hooked up again. It feels like it's about the same. Maybe a little bit better. Dogging a little bit more than the last one. It's hard to tell in the current. It is. She's dogging pretty good. Feels pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. How's it feel? Good. Oh, yeah. It's a nice one. Your last one. Oh yeah. That is how we do it. Let's go. <laughs> nice Second fishing. one in the morning. That We've literally nice. been out that here nice for fish. less than five minutes, guys. This is crazy. That's a good fish right there too. I go ahead and get this one out of there. A little bit bigger than the last one. As you guys can tell, it's still early, but these fish are ready to feed. That is awesome. Came up, we're using live bait. Oh, look at that, I still got my minnow there and everything, that is fantastic. Let me go ahead and get this one out of here quick. All right, there we go. That one kachowed the old minnow, but hey, second one of the day, probably just over 20. That's a good fish right there. We're gonna go ahead and Oh, Cody just missed one. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see nothing. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get a release on this one, but man, what a way to start the day out. This is awesome. We are out here hucking and bucking, boys. There she goes. All right, we're gonna go ahead 
get the jig back into the water. I might have to replace my minnow on that one. But the live bait, honestly guys, it's doing really, really well this morning. Cody had a hit. I got two already in the boat. We're having ourselves a day. Nick is hooked. Oh, that's a decent one. There we go. Third one in the boat. Nice work, Nick. That's probably your biggest one, huh? Yeah, that's a good one. Biggest one of the past two days. Come it's on, probably like one, one maybe. That thing's a little chunky. That though. is a chunky fish. Let me see that. That is chunky. <laughs> Let's go. I am also using a green jig and a minnow, and this fatty. I mean, it's not that long, but the girth on her. Pretty good. Getting ready to spawn. Heading upstream. Cut her off and got her in the boat. Got her unhooked. That is a beautiful fish. Brandon and I are having ourselves a day. Cody is being an excellent guide. I really appreciate him taking us out here and doing this. Having just an absolute blast. And uh, hopefully we get a lot more and hopefully we get a lot more size. We're gonna get a release on this one. But like I said, hopefully it's the first of many for me. Nice, beautiful walleye. Look at that. Gone right away. Full energy. All right, I'm gonna get another minnow and start catching some more. This one feels good. We're trying a, something a little bit different here. We tried up a little different uh, technique here. We're, instead of um, anchoring, it's good. It's good too. Oh, it's big, a nice big, fish. Big, 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 nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. There we go, baby. Let's go. Here. Let's get it. Get it. <laughs> Woo. Nice net job, Cody. Thank you, Cody. That's a nice one. That's all I've been good for this morning. <laughs> hey, that's all that matters. That's right? a fatty. She's a chunky mama. We're gonna give her the good old belly, belly slap. slap. <laughs> Look at that, she is filled with spawn. They are getting ready to go. Definitely feels a little bit heavier when they're coming through the current. As we were saying, we're doing something a little bit different. We were anchored up early this morning and that's how we pulled those first three. This one, we came down. We're just going through the current ever so slowly. That one came up and kachowed it. It has been a hot minute. It's been, I'm not gonna say a slow morning, but Definitely not like a crazy aggressive bite out of most of these fish. We are marking an absolute ton of fish, which is expected up here. But that one came up and just absolutely slammed it, which I absolutely loved. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna give this guy that minnow. I'm gonna stuff that back down in there. Don't put your hands in there, folks. They are sharp. We're gonna go ahead and get a quick picture and release this guy. That is a gorgeous fish. Not an absolute giant, but definitely a fatty. And there she goes, just like that. Brandon's hands are cold, but filled with adrenaline, baby. That's fish number three for me. Nick's got one, so we got four on the day, four on the morning for us. We're still waiting for uh, good old Cody back here to get hooked up, but it's bound to happen, and I got a feeling when it does happen, be ready. Seems heavier, but it's. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that's nice. Nice fish. My biggest one of the day so far. Yeah. Probably, definitely, for sure, the biggest fish of the year. Oh yeah. Laser. Oh yeah. There we go. Ooh. Biggest one of the day, right there. There we go. Nice one. Is that a baby. <sighs> That's probably like a 24 incher. Yeah? Oh, let's take a look at her. I'll get out of the way. Here we go. Second fish for me today. This is by far the biggest walleye of the year for me and out here on the Fox. That one destroyed it actually. I felt the tap on that one right away and very, very beautiful fish. Still not quite the size that we're looking for. We are looking for probably six more inches onto this baby which is possible. Still got a couple more hours of the day. We're gonna grab some pictures and I'm gonna get back to it. Try to catch some more. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna fall in. Don't fall in on us, Nick. There she goes. Nick <laughs> almost <laughs> fell over. I just wanted to go back with her. <laughs> that was oh, awesome, man. nice job, buddy. All right, guys, well, now it is uh, just Nick and I in control of the boat. Cody fell overboard. No, I'm kidding. We actually are in anchor mode right now. And uh, as you can tell, it is just Nick and I. Cody has left the premises. 
He is actually in that boat right there. Cody's got a buddy out here. His name's Mike. And uh, he is currently hooked up with an absolute giant, giant sturgeon. So Cody jumped boats just to give him a hand because they're probably going to need two people to scoop this thing into the boat if they can land it. Definitely don't have a net big enough for this fish. So we'll see how long this takes. He's got six pound test on right now. Things are getting interesting. He's probably been fighting this fish for at least 10, 15 minutes now. We've been sitting back watching and Cody figured he'd offer him a hand. So hopefully they can get this thing in and maybe we'll get a good look at it. But I'm telling you right now, this thing is bohemoth. This thing's a mammoth, dude. So we'll see. All right, Nick is hooked up. He said it feels nice. Alright guys, well, we actually just got back. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I just remember him in the truck. Where's, Where's my, my other half? Where's my other half? <laughs> okay, okay. Alright guys, well, as you can tell, we are no longer on the river. We actually put everything away and Nick and I are going to be heading back. But we had a spectacular time out there. Cody put us on some awesome fish really appreciate that man we did manage to actually separate for a little bit as you guys saw <laughs> Cody did put the boat basically in an autopilot mode and uh, Nick and I stayed back and Nick actually got into one while Cody was away but Cody was chasing the sturgeon of a lifetime his buddy Mike hooked up with it and uh, it was absolutely out of this world big I uh, said it probably took up what like half the boat it's probably over six it feet. was it was a six footer yeah it was tough I mean I had it by the tail and uh, I swear to God, that thing had to be more than 100 pounds. So there's no I way I was that. just flipping that into the boat. And... It was just pulling you guys away, pulled you probably <sighs> close tough. to a quarter mile away. Yeah. And when you had it by the tail, Nick and I were a ways away from you. And, and I could see the fish. Nick and I could see it from the boat that we were in. And uh, honestly, guys, that thing was ginormous. So Cody's going to have a little GoPro footage of it. So you guys yeah. will probably be able to see that. We're going to go ahead and we will link Cody's channel down below. So go ahead and check that out as well. He's going to be filming a lot of his own videos now again uh, up on his page. So go ahead and check that out. Huge shout out to Cody here for us, uh, putting us on some walleyes out on the Fox. We had an awesome time and it is just the begin beginning of it all. We're going to be down here next weekend. Uh, for a big tournament, the Swamp Donkey Tournament, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, had two awesome days out here this weekend, and it's only going to get better from here on out, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, if you guys liked today's video, ka and some walleyes, make sure to give it a big old fat thumbs up. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it if you guys would comment down below what you liked, if there's anything you guys want to see in the future. Just let us know. So we're going to wrap this up. Nick and I are going to get heading back home. We've got a long trip ahead of us, but thank you guys so much for joining us today. Tight Lines from NDX. Why can't you just do that? <laughs> <laughs> Nick's I too tired. Nick's tired.